ladies and gentlemen, you have the director of that, <laughs> a script writer, actress of the episode that you just saw, and you know she has they are running these episodes, you know, um, you know, like, like Times Television in Malawi, and you know, um, so it's it's been had an assignment, you know, but uh, there's going to be more, and she's doing trying to do more movies, etc. But right now, she's all yours. <laughs> okay. Welcome. <Yay! laughs> all right. Welcome to. Uh, this class is language and social issues in Africa. So, you know, that's why the part of the emphasis on issues of language, you know, but also in terms of, you know, what kind of issues, you know, we deal with and how language, you know, plays into, you know, all those facets of our, you know, African life. But you guys hear from me so often, now I can hear from her. Over to you. Hi, hi. 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 I'm, I'm nervous. I, 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 I'm, 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 I know, I'm an actor. Should be flexible talking to people, but I'm never flexible. I'm always never when I'm in front of people like this. Wow. <laughs> okay, so my name is Flora Suya. I'm from Malawi. What you've seen is one of the things that I do. Um, people know me as an actor, really, uh, other than a filmmaker, because I'm new. I've only produced a movie, a feature film. Uh, my mother's story, that's what I was telling you about. And then this is my second production, the drama series that I'm doing back home. So yeah, if you have questions or comments, shoot. What is the drama series about? Uh, okay, as you can tell uh, from the title, Spouses and Workmates, uh, basically, it's about relationships in workplaces and homes. Yeah. Love, deceit, betrayal, scandals that happens in homes and workplaces. It's, it's about that, really. Yes. Um, in the particular episode that you were watching, what was the background of what was going on? Okay, so what you're watching here is episode 10. Mm -hmm. So it started, I mean, you know, obviously from episode one. Mm -hmm. So we have so many issues, so many things happening. I wish I still had that on. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let, me, let me bring it back on. guys, that's the secretary and that's the boss. Uh, she is in love with the boss, but the guy is married. So we have that storyline where you have this secretary trying to seduce the boss. <coughs> so where you saw that time, uh, her being rude to that client who came in wanted to see the boss, it's basically because of what she feels for, uh, so she, for the boss. So she's like protective and jealous. She doesn't want women to come in and see him, especially 
when she feels they're beautiful. So she was trying to block that woman not to see the boss. Then when the boss confronted her about her about that, she said, I'd like to resign. So that's where we are as an episode 10. She's trying to resign because she feels her feelings and everything. I mean, she's not making progress. She is not being successful. That's why she's trying to resign. So that's the storyline that I have where these people are concerned. Questions? Oh, yeah, the, what were they, okay, the, the conversation in the backyard. Yes. When, <laughs> was that another love triangle going on? Yes. Okay. Um, they switched languages there. Didn't yeah, they? In yeah. the backyard? Because yeah. he said shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like that was a target phrase. <coughs> and then a switch happened before after that. <laughs> Well, that, by the way, while she's doing that, um, the initial conversation between, you know, the guy at the gas station and the one who he said was her boss, it started off in English. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, at some point, it turned out that he's a cousin. Okay. So uh, when they said, you know, when they made that switch, they about cousin, they switched to, to, to Chichel. Because now, it, it was almost like you've shifted from the boss to, informal. You know, to now being related, and so it can now become more informal. So it's one of the things where you get the code switching. You know, when she says, ah, you know, you know when, you, when you make up your mind, you, know, can, you know, can get back. But okay, go ahead. Okay, so what's happening with these two is that this guy is in love with her cousin, but this girl seduced him. So at this point she's pregnant. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, she's pregnant for him. So she's telling him to make a decision, like to come clean, to tell the cousin that uh, oh, I'm pregnant. I mean, uh, she's pregnant, and we're together, <coughs> like to end the affair with the cousin and be with her. That's the confrontation that was happening. Okay, and is the cousin the one that was sitting on the couch in the prior two prior scenes? No, 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 that's another. No, that was the maid. Oh, the okay. cousin is the secretary, actually. Oh, oh, really? Oh, 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 yeah, so we really have all this <laughs> drama. Now, this is various. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, uh, I have two questions. First, how do we get these episodes? Yeah. I know, not really well watching. Second is, what made you write a storyline like this? Okay, I didn't get the first one. This question. How do we get access to your uh, movies? And then the second was, what made you write a storyline like this? I should write one. So you bribe me, and I'll bribe you. <laughs> How do they get access? Is this only in Malawi, or is that access out here as well? No, it's only in Malawi. That's the access that you have out here is me. <laughs> so it's through me. Oh. So we can talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, the second question, what made me, what, what inspired me to write this? Okay. Um, I like watching series especially where you have scandals. Yeah, I watch Scandal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think even my inspiration came from Scandal. So I really have so many things happening in Spouses and, uh, spouses and Workmates. If Scandal, the title, didn't exist elsewhere, I was going to call this Scandal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you? I'm sorry. How long did it take you to like to okay, come up with this? I would say two years. Yeah, I first showed the first three episodes when I had just a vision and I didn't even talk to any TV station. I just talked to my oh. actors. Most of the actors that I'm working with are really my friends. We've been in the industry together for so long. So I just sought them my idea, my vision, and they loved it. And he said, okay, let's do it. I didn't even, I didn't have money. I only have like uh, the 
story and um, luckily I can also write so I wrote the first three episodes then I told them okay let's shoot and I approached some guys who have the equipment I said guys this is what we have we don't have money at the moment but I'm sure if you can produce something that is really good we can sell it to maybe a TV station and if they take it, they start paying for it. But for them to really embrace us and to see the value or to appreciate what we're doing, we have to show them something. Because if you just go and say, I think I can do this, normally it's just like stories. Okay, what can she do? What can she say? She's just, she just wants to waste time and stuff like that. So I said, let's produce something. Because I had tried to approach them just with the idea, saying, okay, I have this idea, so I would like to do this. this. And the feedback that I got was like, oh, okay. Okay, fine. Oh, so we went, okay. And it, we did it there. Then I said, okay, let me shoot something and show them. So we agreed. Then we did the first episodes, and I approached one of the TV stations that I really thought I could work with. And then, yeah, the, the director liked it, and we cracked the deal, signed the contract. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, when I was coming, okay, that was last year, and that contract, that was, I started shooting in March. I presented it in uh, July, and I bought the contract, like finalizing everything in October. But I started showing in March this year. Wow. Yeah, so when I was coming here, uh, we had showed about 30 episodes. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, many different shows, they have a target audience, of uh, some appeal to like uh, teenagers, some appeal to adults, and different like, like cultures and ideas. What is, what is what would you say your target audience is? Like, who are you trying to reach? Okay, when it comes, okay. When it comes to age, I would say uh, thirteen and above. Oh. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to language and other things, it's really a typical Malawian. Yeah. That's why I'm using. Uh, vernacular language, Jichewa, and English. Um, English, I can say it's 50-50. Yeah, so I know even someone who can't uh, read or write, especially okay, when it comes to English, when we come to English, um, I still feel 50% is okay. They can still follow and know everything that's happening in there. Um, so that's my immediate target audience, a Malawian, but I'm also looking at a larger picture like, um, I sent some episodes to Zambezi Magic, it's on DSTV. Um, we're actually talking, they, they're interested, they'd like to take it on board. So when that happens, it means I'll have to go back with my guys to the studio and put some uh, subtitles. Somebody mentioned subtitles. So when it comes to that, that's when uh, we'll include the subtitles. But as, but as it is, any Malawian can watch. Do you visualize yourself being able to uh, reach the uh, uh, USA, like with your, with your uh, films? And stuff? Do you do you think that would happen? Yeah, they say dream big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's it's, it's my dream really that I would someday be able to talk to the entire Perrys of this world and say, hey, check this out. <laughs> I say that because we have like Hispanic TV, and it'd be nice to have other cultures with other uh, with their stories. Okay, so we should talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm thinking outside the box. It's not only Malawi. I really want to reach as far as I can, Hollywood, Hollywood, wherever I can take it to. Are you working on any other movies right now? Um. Yes. Uh, my Mother's Story was my first feature movie. I already showed my second feature movie. It's titled Dear Pen Book. It's in post-production right now. And okay. God willing, I'm thinking of premiering it uh, somewhere in October. Oh, nice. Where, where are, you, are you going to premiere it in? Um, Malawi? Somewhere? Yes, Malawi and here in, in uh, Mountain View at Silicon Valley Film Festival. Nice. It happens every year in October. Oh, awesome. So yeah, I'm talking to the guys there, and I think they're interested because they saw my first feature movie, and they liked it. It won an award, and they said, yeah, I'll take it on board. So when my guys are done back home, they'll send it, they'll look at it, and they like it. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
I, I saw your movie and it showed a very dynamic individual, a, a woman, a mother, and it's completely different from this. It's so, yeah. it's like a different trajectory. Yes. And, and um, I wish they could see like a clip of that. that that'd be like, <laughs> especially when she's like sloshed or drunk and, you know, just yeah. well, some of those, all those, right, those uh, scenes. Uh, 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 I'll rescue right. you on that one. Um, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave early today so you guys can do your evaluations. I'm gonna leave in about, we're gonna finish in about five minutes. But oh. on Thursday, you know, we're gonna have presentations. But I will, you know, uh, get a bit of a clip of that. And, you know, she's still visiting around, and uh, if she's up to it, maybe she can. You know, make a what what you call it, a coming appearance. <laughs> you know, um, you know, just to sort of comment on that briefly. And that would be a way of rounding off our you know our course. So David, I'll we we'll owe you that request. Okay, yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't know we were doing review or uh, uh, evaluations today. Well why you came in a little later, I asked yeah. that, I announced that I so I'm gonna leave a little earlier, you know, so that you guys can do your course course evaluations online. But the department has been encouraging us to Allow time, you know, for the students. Can I ask one more question? Well, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not like she's, you know, we're living right now, but no. um, <laughs> I, I was just saying that we can't, I can't show the clip, and I'll owe you that, and we'll try and squeeze it in on Thursday. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so that, you know, we can get a little bit of that. Great. Yeah. But go ahead, ask the question. You have to submit your script to anyone, like in the Malawi t uh, TV stations. You have to submit to them. Does it get screened, censored? Does it? Do they take things out of your script? Uh, no. No. No, they don't. Okay, not the TV stations, but we have a censorship board. Okay. So that's that is done awesome. separate. Okay. So that's the first thing. They see it, and yeah, they censor it. When you're going to production and everything, they have already like gone through everything and taken out some things. Yeah. So in your movie, there's some provocative positions you are in, some <laughs> intimate moments. Do they allow that in Malawi? Would the censorship board allow that in, with, with the, the television? Actually, so what the vision you saw, that was censored. So oh. it, it means it was more than that before. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so where did you see that movie? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's something that these people haven't seen. Well, no, yeah. no, no, no. There, there's a secret to it. <laughs> David, you know, made a movie book. And you know, and when he had to do a presentation here, he said, can I throw in a few comments about my movie? I said, absolutely, why not? So he is, you know, interested in that. And you know, we started talking and I happened to mention her movie, you know, and Keith, who is helping us with that, you know, had made a shareable link of that, of that thing. So I did forward it to him. So that's a kind of, you know, that, that, that's where you just say, oh, wait a minute, how come you say it with him? <laughs> no, it's because you don't have, I did share it with him. But, you know, like I said, on Thursday, we, 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 I'll show a little bit of a clip of it, you know. And if you guys are interested, maybe we we'll, 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 we'll should have thought about this. Eh? How, how we, essentially, you know, I'll, I'll buy pizza, sit there, and watch it together. <laughs> but now it's too late. Popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> okay, but then anyway, go ahead, you know. I just want to plug in that. That's why David says I've seen the movie, but then you guys say, well, what are they? Well, how do you get, where do you get these things? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any more questions, comments? All right. In the absence of any more comments, etc., you know, let's say thank you to Flora here. For